Yeah. I just want to show you these uh, tickets I picked up. Uh, somebody wrote a, a script for MT4 called uh, Drop Pending. And um, you can edit these. I um, edited these into make them into 1Ks and uh, basically to me really simple about uh, risk levels on this micro account um, like for instance this would be risking um, I don't know if it's coming through on the monitor how high res this recording is but uh, it would be risking three dollars and sixty cents to make a dollar eighty which is not a good bet I guess um, but I put it, would place the order in a high probability zone on the chart and um, this order say right about a hundred uh, right on a hundred dollar yen at a hundred just because it's kind of a stupid easy trade and um, it has been to a hundred almost here blew through it here 150 and uh, that order will uh, disappear after one day I could set that order to disappear after like four hours or an hour or a month or a half hour or 15 minutes. Uh, I tried five minutes but I don't think the broker liked seeing that order so I couldn't get that to run but I could get a 15 minute to run and uh, when the news is out and I'm here trading the news I can drop a pending that will last for 15 minutes that's uh, 50 pips deep. If the market could spike down and, uh, 50 pips in 15 minutes or 100 pips in 15 minutes. I want that trade because during the news hours, it may not last. Um, FOMC came out. I traded the FOMC and made money. I normally used to lose money trading the news, but uh, super deep orders that only last a little bit of time, your exposure to risk is 15 minutes at an insane price. And the probability for retracement is very high during the news. It could keep plunging to to, uh, to hell. I had uh, Dollar Yen do that to me. Uh, it moved like this for me once, um, uh, just like this. But this is a four-hour chart. But you know, like this in um, oh, it was more pips than this. Uh, these blue lines are 100 pip handles. It went down. It plunged like you can't believe. So um, you know, and I threw a bank, had automated trading on one broker that I kept throwing orders in and they kept uh, uh, blowing them out but they were small orders I lost like twenty dollars I think uh, but it was it was nice to be able to just not have to think should I buy at the market I was throwing the orders out in front of the market as I was plunging and picking up these uh, tickets so uh, what I'm just doing here is I just want to show you these uh, these are pretty much the close all orders, close all uh, open and pendings, and then close all profits. Um, you know, close all profits is great because um, it's hard to click on all the tickets inside a terminal window. You know, if you're scalping, you want to get out of a position that you layered into, and you just want out. You know, bam, I went out now of everything, bam, because you know that's a temporary thing. You know. Market's gonna go slam you back the other way. Other people are gonna think that's a great price, or for whatever you know. Uh, the market's highly volatile, over the counter, unregulated. Thank God. So there's volatility, and so um, yeah. The, the uh, and then um, so in this situation here, um, I created a script. Uh, it's not showing up in here called delete all delete all objects. So I'm gonna clear off all these uh, tickets I laid in just just not the tickets but the little arrows that come with them and uh, when the next tick comes in the uh, 100 pip handles refresh but uh, here I, I, I created some scripts that are um, kinda like here's three tickets and one I think is on these scripts but what I did was I put the control key uh, used the hot and alt key on the keyboard you can set hot keys to the scripts so I, I created uh, kind of a no brainer kind of grid system where uh, control 1 is a 10 pip deep order, control 2 is a 20 pip deep order. So if I'm looking at the chart and I'm like, yeah, it's about 50 pips deep on a buy, so here I'd hit like Alt 5. Now it's not only going to put in 50 pip deep, it's going to put in two deeper ones because I know that's how I uh, trade. I want to get in 
if it's going to hell, I'm I'm buying. So uh, I just know how I am. So now I think I don't know how deep that was. Okay, there's there's 50 pips in here. Oh, but 60 pips and it's, there's three on each one. So there's 3k in each one. Oh, that's got 4k. Oh well, another mistake. You can really get uh, you got to make sure you run all these on a demo first though because um, sometimes the orders will stack up in there. And I did that one day. I didn't realize that um, this one broker allows you to place a lot of orders. And it's so slow in doing it that I didn't realize that it was a bad script. And when I uh, the power went out here, and I had to go to my buddy's house and put, hook up my laptop and hang out there. And I looked down, and it was, it was 3 o'clock in the morning, and the Australian dollar was tanking. And I had, knew I had spy orders down there. I could see them on the screen, but I didn't realize that the... Um, the script kept stacking up since the market really wasn't moving much. The um, it couldn't ex execute the whole script, so it kept um, looping and, and doing the same order over and over. So instead of getting in like a 3k, I got in you know, like 130k. Luckily, there was enough money in the account, but it was very it actually made money on that trade, uh, a lot of money. And uh, I thought maybe I should trade that size, but I thought maybe not because it. Uh, I was risking half the account, so um, it wasn't probably a good idea. And, uh, so you got to be careful. Always, even if you've written a script and uh, it checks out okay, and you think, oh yeah, I'm only adjusting a little bit, you got to watch them as they come in just to make sure there's not be repeated. Um, of course, with these that I, these ones here are all single tickets. Now these are like, um, but this would be risking five dollars to make five dollars say. And I'll buy the dollar unit uh, at 96 because um, I think that's a good price. <laughs> 96, and I buy it again right around 96. But I think um, you can really overthink this stuff. With uh, uh, you can overuse a toolbox. You know, when a screwdriver is all you need, you don't need to buy a whole wrench set. But um, yeah, I'm in this stupid trading lately because. Um, Smarter people than me, you know, losing money, and um, it's just not, you know, it's just not a normal job, really. It's kind of a silly, uh, uh, you know, market. It's just is silly. So here's a uh, risk five dollars to make three dollars, but I'm going to put it where all the stops are. So that order, it looks pretty crazy, you know. What if those orders fill? You know, yeah, hey, you know, what if? What if? There's a lot of what ifs. What ifs? So. I'm just kind of doing a momentum trade on the four-hour chart. I guess if there's such a thing as momentum on, on an eight-hour move, but uh, I was think momentum on a five-minute chart. That's momentum, you know, getting hit. But uh, so on here, it's uh, I guess I could draw some channel on here, throw a tool on here, try to try to make it look normal, and then uh, yeah, it's like I'm a normal trader. See, look at I drew a trend line there. I'm qualified now. All right, but I'm just looking for you know the retrace, the pullback here. That's my uh, that's my trade is counter. I guess I'm a contrarian, so I have to trade counter to the. Uh, well, I made money here on this counter, so okay. Then I started selling here on the break out of this. Okay, well you know I'm down, but uh, I'm prepared to sell all the way to this line, and I'm. This comes back off of this top to here, pulls back in, back fills a little bit. I'll, I'll make money, and then I'll actually put more hours up there, and I'll just work it all the way up till we get to 99. And if it topples over into here, then I would trade it as it spills over into there. But probably going to be putting orders down here, and then I have my random order button. I could buy up to 90, I put up to 90 pips deep just because uh, on the keyboard there's only, um, but I did have an idea to get a automated uh, a tablet, I mean a, uh, key, a customizable keypad, like an IntelliTools um, where you could actually, actually make your own template and just have stuff on there like by itself so a child could do it. And uh, so I could do it because I want to look down and just see a key that says. Um, actually, I was thinking of getting a foot switch, a left foot switch for um, for for buy, and a right foot switch for sell, and then I could have a pip uh, 
grid in front of me with keys there, but I haven't been able to hack into the way keyboards talk to the... Uh, um, it, it, it was just going to go for a musical keyboard and rip the keys out. And rip the, or just rip out like every other key on a, on, a, on a cheap MIDI keyboard and then just write on there by and sell, you know. And just so you leave the house and leave your, um, you know, your other, your roommate in charge and tell them, listen, if, you know, if you see it getting up high here, just keep hitting that button. But, um, no, it's automation just because uh, I think being lazy is a skill set and I'm trying to, I'm trying to, perfect it but uh, yeah it just takes time unfortunately these four hour charts don't like it too much but uh, I'm hoping this pulls back into here and then um, I can cash out of some of these guys and then don't think I'll be a buyer I think I'll be a seller back up on one more maybe retest up here failure and just keep scalping it all the way up there I don't know I mean it does look like it's just hell bent on going up forever but of course that's what we thought here is going down forever so, I don't know, I can come back and test this line. Certainly, I'll retest that line. I'll be cashing out of small orders. And then, um, uh, maybe I can get it to plunge down in here. And, and if it comes down this deep, I'm definitely buying. If it falls out of this trend line, it comes down plummeting down here, I scoop up and do 100% retracement, start buying here, and this, this would turn into a winner through that whole spectrum of swing. And, um... I just don't want to be uh, thinking about um, too much about am I getting into the best price because basically canvassing the area with price. So, you know, whatever the market does, and of course, if it can't get there in time, the orders disappear. I mean, if it can't get there fast enough, then it's not a momentum plunge that I think is going to bounce hard. So, the whole key of it is that it's time. Uh, it's time exposure to the market and market depth of price. So, um, but this is the this is the project I'm working on because um, this way I know my risk window decreases over time, and um, you know I can control the the time risk window as opposed to trading at the market, which I will do if the market is absolutely absurdly. Um, in my zone and I didn't have a ticket there and I thought god you know I should, then I am getting in there at the market unfortunately like, like I did when it spiked through this very top I thought no that's a that's gonna be a considering the time of day it is so 8.30 is coming here in 20 seconds but um, I don't want to run out of my video tape because I'm cheap I don't want to go past 15 minutes but it's um I guess I'll take the risk here. Got 10 seconds left before uh, 8.30. So I'm expecting like some drama at 8.30 because bottom of the hour, I think there's a lot of people getting in with robots or something. Or red, they're using an atomic clock and they're getting ready and bam. Like see right here now, it's going to spike here. So hopefully it's going to spike up and I'll get that 99 ticket filled and then I can pull back and get a bigger cash out. Sounds kind of weird, but it's like half of a grid trading really. It's like grid trading but not getting into both positions. I'm saying I'll only take half of the grid trade. I take the right price pulse that may only last an hour, half hour, 15 minutes, four hours a day. And of course you can lay these orders in. If you think thought about it you would pl place the daily orders 200 pips deep and place the four hours 100 pips deep. You're going to place the 50 pip orders 30, min 30 minutes for a 50 pip deep order, maybe um, 15 minutes for a 15, a 15 pip deep. So you're kind of like, you know, uh, got a grid there um, that has a time decay based on volatility yeah, against time. I don't know if that makes sense, but uh, anyways, that's, that's my story. I'm sticking to it.